bitch from a hustler, that's my jeans. Got a four hour resistance right now. are too clean if you go up. <laughs> Bro, this shit pushed during London. Take a trade uh, in this area right here. I just wait for a buy stop. Yeah. One thirty four six forty eight. I think you could get out here if you're sitting in a close bush, but just a nasty area. Well, should I still have to buy something? Morning, Mr. Donald. <laughs> Mr. Donald. Sir. Tom, bro, I know your full name's Donald. <laughs> you guys can't hear me? You guys can hear me now, though. My bad, stream. 30 viewers in like 20 seconds. What the hell? Um, yeah, my bad, my bad, guys. Um, I was on mute the whole time, but you know. I'm, I'm here, you know, good morning, good morning. Um, we have buy stops here for GJ above 134, 630, and we're gonna, we should be able to push up to this level up here. We're probably gonna move stops to entry and price taps these levels right here. Recognize. Nine pips, eight pips in profit, move stops to entry. We should be good to go to the, these levels up here based off the hourly time frame. We have a clean traffic move up. Because if you guys take left, you guys like left. You guys like left on GJ above these levels. This level, so this level is a clean traffic move. It's all you gotta wait for, man. It's all you gotta wait for. Stupid clean. This to here. Do you guys see any traffic here? I don't. This kind of right here is what is the kind you're trying to catch. Just make sure you don't, you know. This kennel is gonna be a, a pop up on this like this. And just so you break down forex, you know? You don't need any indicators, you don't need any you don't need anything else. All you need is just these black boxes that I drew, cover everything up and just look for the clean traffic moves and buy it there. <laughs> That's all you need, man. Guaranteed you man on your EMAs, 
If you have EMAs, I guarantee this is how it looks right now. Let me say, uh, here. If I cover this up, EMAs probably show you something like this. EMAs is okay, it's probably looks something like this. Then people are gonna probably gonna buy <laughs> off of this EMA up to these levels, so. I don't know how you maze work. But yeah guys, that's all I gotta wait for. Stop loss will determine off of um once this candle breaks the high, we're gonna see how low what the low is. Cause right now it's looking like it's gonna be this low. But if this candle flips back bearish, it's probably gonna go down further. So then like this low the stop loss will have to be adjusted. If it's hourly close bearish, then you could enter, so... Yeah... If it close bearish, it'll probably come down again. <laughs> Much rather it buys, but... Actually, no, sells are... Sells are clean, just... Just a little less clean. I rather take buys. Yeah. But if those comes, then I will be comfortable for taking sure, that for too. For sure, for sure. So if you do come down, we're probably gonna come down to this level. 134, 3, 3, 6, 2, 4, 4. Good news today? Nope. Sell stops? No. If I sell, I'm probably gonna market exit. So it's a whole different trade deal. I don't just put a buy stop there just because I like buy stops. No, there's a, there's a reason why I'm putting a buy stop there. But for sales, this is different. It will, it will be a whole different trade. It will be, a, it will be a, probably a market execution. Man, buys were pretty clean during London. Let, let it open your ass on. Bullish candle as support. Oh no, it's not even as support. But the 50 minute looked nice. They made a day close bearish. I'm deleting my sell my buy sells for now though. Ooh, I think uh, market I, Oh sells have been good here like, once it flipped bearish. Yeah. What been clean go down? 18 yeah, pips. Super gonna go down on the 30 minute. Yeah, try with for hourly candle. Mm. I mean yeah, you could get it once it breaks hourly though. Yeah, I could've gone this 30 minute candle here. I didn't see this 30 minute candle. Cause this candle, this 30 minute candle right here. This one broke below these ranges right here. It closed below that range. So now this candle has like a higher chance to go down to this level right here. Clean traffic move. Just broke the hourly though. Yep. <sighs> Tired, bro. Oh shit. Chat's popping. Hey, Don, is that a bullish big shadow? I have no idea what that is, my brother. <laughs> I didn't have to read the full question. I don't know what that is, man, but. On the last 15 minute candle, it's just a candle, man. It's just a bullish candle. You know, you had this candle right here that closed bullish. Right, so it's easy from here. All you gotta do is wait for a break above or below. What happened with this next candle? It broke below the lows. So what does that mean? It's gonna go down. <laughs> That's all that is, man. You don't gotta have any of these terms make yourself complicated, like, confused, you know. All you gotta do is see this candle. This, this candle didn't break the highs. It broke the lows. So where is it gonna go? Down to this level, you know. That's all you gotta look for. It broke the lows. But big shadows? I have no clue in the world what that is, man. I never heard that in my life. I heard a lot of things in Forks, but that? Nah, man, that's something new to me. That's like. Nah, man, that's just. <laughs> I heard about that in my life, man. You make it so simple. Well, man, that's what you gotta do, you gotta make it things simple for yourself, man. You can't have, like, you can't make it complicated for yourself. Why do you want to make it complicated for yourself when you can make it as simple as yeah, well, cause it, it is, it one is candle? Simple, it looks simple, 
Right, but you know how long it took me and how it's not easy. It's not as easy as just you know breaking the laws. Like what, like you know, this 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 would have been a good entry. I'm not gonna lie. I I was looking for buys on early and I wasn't paying attention to the sells. So, Cause like if this is you know a fake out up to go down, cause maybe this is a fake out above this range. Now, if it's coming back in the range, it has a high chance of coming down in this range, and it has a high chance of coming down to retest the low here. If it does come down here on GJ. So. Well, like, again, yeah, the GJ has a clean move down in here. Like, there's no reason for GJ not to come down here. Clean move down here. Clean. So, big shout out is a candlestick that shadows the one around it. But, yeah, you're right. Yeah, man. I mean, GJ, yeah, I said that it, it was going to go up once it breaks the high, you know, but like, it, until it breaks the high, we're kind of still bearish. Because it's kind of still bearish. So now, like, GJ had a clean move coming down here. Yeah, it should have been good sells. Yeah, I got it. Those up got activated. Nice, man. Alright. On the hourly uh, break. Ooh, hourly's gonna wake up, I think. Hope for it. <laughs> I doubt it. I mean, it just tap the support, so. Then it's gonna break the load next time. And then it's gonna get even further down next time. Yo, look at how, look at how, like, these, uh, this move up and this move down, like, happen, like, just. Friday. Weak, weak bullish candle. Weak bullish hourly, then big bullish to get you up, and then. Yeah. Weak bearish candle, and then. Cause if this nope. if this already kind of you know comes down like this, man, if this comes down like this, if the next yeah. count comes down like this, closes like this, with a body like this, man, we can enter and sell here. After and the next count is probably gonna come down further and break that low. It's even down here to these levels. You'll we'll see something like this. If, 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 this kind of retraces up a little bit, but even if, um, you can still get an entry, um, once price breaks below these levels, the support down here to come down as well, so, either way, but I preferably want this candle, so we can have a smaller stop loss and, um, a bigger range to come down. Damn, is that your mic? Why is it, why is it so close to your mouth, bro? Shit, my bad. I can hear every movement. <laughs> Damn, did you just have to target it? Yeah, it's also been good. Um, below this bullish candle here. Very good. He's eating the mic. <laughs> Damn, you gonna take that? Bro, get some cereal. Shit, I mean, maybe. I might. <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast yet, too. I just got on the charts. Yeah, it goes if I can come down here. Damn, those have been good sells. Those have been good sells, man. I did not see yeah, the 15. We've been good sells. I think, I think if, huh? yo. Where's your entry? Yeah. Uh, 134. Three, seven, four. Yo, I think um, if I would have gone and trust at six thirty, like right at six thirty, or if earlier, I would have analyzed this. I would have probably taken a sell here on this candle, and that would have just that was a blow above there, come down. But no, nah, yeah, I was looking at taking a sell on the uh, thirty minute candle, but but yeah, it didn't. It, it closed. It barely closed the wick, and then like, it was, yeah, it was just moving like very funky. Cause me and you were looking for sales originally. Bro, I was up. I was, I was up, man. I've been clean. Cause I said, I said sales below one thirty four four hundred. Yeah, this is a clean move because yeah. the sell candle. Yeah, luck called that. Flows below these levels there. Push in. Yep. 
Let's take on break and retest here, technically. Mm -hmm. Now I'm broke below his levels. Yep. Let's hope it retraces back a little bit. Which I that doubt it. So. Even if it does retrace back a little bit, it's gonna have too small of a body. Oh, look too big of a body? No, because now it looks something like this. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, it's not mind, I lied. I just got a picture, yeah, it should be. Let's see, I, I don't think it's gonna retrace personally, but if it does, that'll be golden for an entry. Because now if you enter, like, because like, we know that if price breaks below this level, it's gonna go down to this level. But like, your stop is gonna be 33 pips more actually, 30, 40 pips. So do you want that stop at GJ? Just for like a 60 pip move? No, that's too wild here. Too wild for me. So I'm trying to wait for like the, if, if this candle doesn't retrace, I can't enter. I gotta wait for the next 15 minute candle. So maybe the one at 8.15, I mean 7.15, that candle, if it wants to go down. The, the one hour yeah, crazy, crazy. It has a clean track to move here too on GJ. I hope it doesn't like break it before the tower closes though. Down yeah. here, it's gonna come easily down in here. Or like, actually no, just come down in here and then down in here. Yeah, two support what, levels there. What made GJ go up? I had no clue, bro. It just, I don't know. I think it's just... Uh, honestly, nowadays, bro. <laughs> everything's just, you know, what made it move? It's just the market, you know? <laughs> Um, there's no news last night. Damn. There's JPY news, I think. The numbers yeah. came out positive. viewers live yeah so every week guys if you guys are in the same channel i'm gonna be doing um a little keep up our documentary of all the signals given all the signals every single signal you know why because the, the signal um industry is a little um a little foggy i'm not gonna lie there's lots you know a lot of providers out there that don't send their analysis but like, you know, um, it's a bit foggy. You know, when you break down the trades, you know, when you, like, they send the signal, they just let it run. And uh, if it stops, they, they just say, they just say hit stops. Like, but if, it, if it's like 100% profit, then you say move stops to entry, they just let it run. So, you know, I'm gonna clear it up for everyone. But yeah, um, it's gonna be on YouTube every, every, um, Friday. Whose mic is that? Yo, Sheriff Ali, congratulations. He's in the Zoom call, that's crazy. Sheriff Ali is in the Zoom call now. The giveaway winner. It, it was legit. Oh, sick. Did you take the cells? No, I didn't. I was not up for 6.30 to take a cell. I was not up. So my trade deal wasn't as, you know, as processed for so. sell. Okay, so GG closed bearish, okay. Yeah, this is quite messy here now. Um, You still have a clean move down here to the support, but might some trouble here. I'm slacking. Am I slacking? Or am I just following my protocol? I mean, my, um, <laughs> am I just tra am I following my, my, um, my rules? Caught 20 pips. Nice, bro. Nice.
US 30. Um, what do you got here? Hourly Chemicals bearish, no bottom wick. Ooh, that's tough. Um, got some type of resistance here. Should be able to retest the low if this count stays bearish. Same thing for GJ again, then. Man, I wish GJ, like, you know, comes up a little bit. So maybe, like, here's, here's, here's what I'm thinking. Here's my little analysis. Um. Here's my, here's my analysis. If the first 15 minute on GJ close is bearish like this, I mean bullish, like so. Oh. You can probably have, like, I want this count to close like this. This is, what, this is how I want GJ to close, bullish. Because then I'm going to have a sell stop below that candle to come down to the support like this. And then I can hold this all the way down to retest the lows down here. And say so that's going to come down there to retest the 4 hour low and also the 1 hour low. What are the lows from last night? Because if this is a fake or up, man, this little thing right there go down, then we're going to come down cleanly. But yeah, right now there's no trade. No trade. Your range is like this. 20 pips guaranteed and your, you know, your stocks have to be 36 pips. So there's no trade. I think we will get a doji. Yeah, whatever it is, that's, that's, I want to see you. I want to wait for it to close. Oh man. Give him a bit with the fire. He knows me. Yo, what up? Yo. Yo, yo. Morning. You were 30 against Sensor the Gulag, man. Is it going up or down? Down. It dropped 500 points. Damn. Gold's going down. Weird. That's weird, yeah. That's super, super weird. I don't know, man. So online here. I'm telling you, the US is in a recession. It's a repeat, it's a repeat of April. <laughs> <laughs> you mean... Oh, March. It's a repeat of March. March, yeah. It doesn't sound as bad, but... Uh, technically April. Because that's when, like, as soon as the first day happened, first uh, Monday, bruh. That bit went down. Down, 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 down. <laughs> soon, look, as soon as I clock at 12, man. <laughs> so you trade the main go in? Nope. nope. I don't know why. I, I hit up the support. I said, uh, do on another day. I tried it this morning. The same issue. I'm like, yo, what the hell? What's up? What's this? Did it withdraw from your bank account? Nope. It's weird. Super, super weird. Was it Bitcoin or whatever? Is it a uh, uh, bank transfer? Shout out to you, man. Wasn't in uh, the states. Uh, hey Don, what sure. times of the day and night is a good deal to trade? Well, that will depend on your location and your preference. You know, you have Asian, London, and New York. Whatever time frame is best for you. I prefer to say the opening sessions. Whatever opening sessions are per you can sit three hours a day or two hours a half, you know, watching those openings every day, and that'll be the best time for, for you. It's our personal preference, man. But you know, what do you think? New York, most volatile. London, per second. So right now probably the most volatile session. From you know, five thirty to about I'll say 9, 10-ish. After that, it's kind of dead. 
majority of days is kind of dead. Some days you might get a trade, you know, the late comers, the late sleepers, um, the late people who wake up late, they might get a trade in like later on and they'll be like, oh wow, I caught a 200 pit move on GJ. But you know, how often does that happen during that late in a day though? Not really? quite often. Only time where a chance like that will happen is like news. I feel about it. Yep. Other than that, wake up early. Well, I meant with this pair. Um, this pair, GJ, what do you think? No, London. So, you know, London is in right now. So, 11 o'clock a.m. So, yeah, some moves up here for GJ. And I'll see how the New York that's going to overlap it as well. So, it's going to be very volatile in like an hour at 8. 50 viewers. Thank you, thank you guys. Leave a like on the stream if you guys enjoy the stream. I don't know why it is about Mondays, man. We get a lot of viewers on Mondays. Is that crazy? Roger streaming or something? People excited. <laughs> Did Roger cast cells? Yeah, he caught it. Yeah, it's 2 point. Yeah. This is a nice point pivot. 2.0. Those are clean cells. The thing is like for me to enter a trade, I can't enter when the candle has already formed. Like if it looks if it formed up and then it's gonna go down. Like, even though if it formed up bullish like this, and then it goes down a little bit and it goes back up, and then this candle still we're like five minutes into the candle. I can't enter like that. I gotta enter the openings of the candles. Or if it's not an opening, it has to be a stop. Um a pending order, a sell stop or buy stop. I can't enter when it's like five minutes to a candle. So I woke up. I can't, I came onto the streams at like you know six thirty seven ish or six forty, and that it was like ten minutes late. You know, but yeah, I, didn't, I couldn't catch the souls. But looking at a thirty minute, it was pretty clean. But now see, it's kind of close bullish. So like, you know, <laughs> this kind of guess how this kind of closes though. Um. Yeah, sells below his range. So like here, here's what I think now. Here, here's my um, analysis. You're in this range right now for GJ. So be super safe. You can have sell stops below this 15 minute candle when it closes bullish. Or you can have buys above this level, above, above here to go up. But yeah, this range is kind of, because this is a fail down now to go up. We're going to fill the range and eventually come up. Let's see what happens on GJ here. We're looking for buys though. I'll be more comfortable taking buys above this level to go up to this range up here. That's like a nice, um... Seems like a bullish week for DJ. It's a nice 55 pip move. <laughs> When's that deal for the pin? When is that deal for the period? You said for 5 to 10. Hmm? When's that deal for the... Here you said from 5 to 10 in a.m. Would London, what time does the GJ open? You know, what's in GJ? Pound and the uh, yen. So it's open during Asian and London. So those two sessions are, would be the best sessions for GJ. If it's not during those times, it's probably closed. You know, after 11, you shouldn't be trading GJ. GJ is closed after. There's nothing, there's no banks open for the, for the, for, um, the yen, there's no banks open for the pound. There's no point in trading it. It's like saying, you know, you go into a store and it's closed. You're not gonna wait there all day, you're gonna leave. Maybe slow. So it kind of bothers my mind when someone's when people are trading like, you know, US 30 at like 5 a.m. in the morning. No, I mean like um 3 a.m. in the morning, like you know? US 30 is not open that time. But guys, you know, every time there's a big move, here's what I learned over the past couple of months. Every time there's a big move, don't stress about it, man. Because that move, just think of it as, okay, later on, it's going to be a clean traffic kind of move. This kind of right here, I, I think we caught these cells. We, we definitely caught these cells last night. Or no, when was this? June 12, 10 a.m. I think we caught these cells. Pretty sure. Yeah, we did on Friday. I talked about these cells. Yeah, 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 I didn't catch it, but I talked about it. But yeah, um, these cell, this candle right here, man, I missed it on Friday. But don't worry, man, because now if price breaks below above this range, we're going to go up and that's going to be a clean traffic counter move. Go up. 
So you know where you miss a move, you know, whenever, whenever you miss a move, don't think of it as that. Think of it as another opportunity later in the market. Because every time a candle prints a candle, every, every time the market prints a candle, it's just another confirmation in the markets for you. Another candle that got printed. And then you have a range here, and now I'm probably gonna come up if you break these highs. And GJ. Oh brother, 15 cent close, strong bullish. Yeah, I wanna take sellers here, but I mean buys here, but I'm gonna wait for price to break above this range to look for buys. Cause I know, like I know if G if the 15 minute close is bullish like this and we take a buy, our stop has to be down here. And once price if price does hit our stop and breaks that low, it's gonna go all the way down here. So that's why I rather I would rather, rather have a sell stop here. Come down and I'm ready to market exit if price breaks above this level. That's the, that'll be the best scenario for me. That's what I'm gonna wait for. What's up? So how do you how do you get better at like I know you, I know you've been working on like anticipating anticipating like trades in a range like how do you get better at that? like I've been working on that too it's kind of hard like you kind of keep seeing where it might go. Or yeah, anticipating requires a lot more um practice i guess because mm. um just because of a lot of experience like the only way you're not really figured what to anticipate is if you just back test like if you look at this ranger like this ranger I, I didn't need any type of confirmation for break above or above um or below to tell us that's gonna be a buy or sell like this is the range right but this candle right here it didn't even close it closed in the range right this candle right here both channel it closed in the range it didn't close below for me to take a sell to look for sells it closed in the range and then once the channel broke the low of that i can easily say we're gonna come down to this range um this this range right here i can easily say we're gonna come down to this range and once price gets down to this support all you gotta do is move stops to entry and let it run down to this tp on the hourly because the hourly is a clean traffic for candle and that's how i anticipate a movie come down like, yeah like a like a range in a range yeah, it's a range in a range. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. No worries, bruh. So now IG is going back in the range here on the 15 on 30 minute. So we have something here. I uh, me personally, man. You know, self stops there and market exit price breaks above um, 134 or 573. So target Today, if one, three, four, point, actually, yeah, point, five, seven, right. Sixty viewers, nice. No, no. Yeah, it's gonna be just thirty. Yo, Sheriff Ali, you have a mic? I wanna hear the winners. Sharif. Hey, Don, can you hear me? Hey, what's up, bro? What's up, man? Hey, man. Morning, morning. Congratulations on the, on the chorus giveaway. Oh, thank you, man. So excited with that. It was such a great win. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I was jumping and jumping. I you know, I was messaging you. You, you can't, and, and the funny thing is, like, I don't know why, but you can't even message a YouTube chat. No, I can't. No. <laughs> I, I've been always messaging you on uh, Telegram. Know, what they call it. So yeah, on Telegram. But yeah, <laughs> it's quite, it's really good. It's really good. I'm so happy. Yeah, man. I just wanted, just wanted to say congrats. The next giveaway, guys, there's going to be three winners. And not one. So it's going to be a bit, um, yeah, a, bit, a bigger chance of winning. Just imagine, you know, that's actually a, a good gift, you know. Like, if someone gifts you that, just a, four, just a, a course, a forest course, it costs an intro, like, any, any type of course. I don't think it has to be my course, but, like, any type of course is for free. That's kind of, that's like a Any course free, that has value. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, man. Good value, too. Like, that's crazy.
Okay, so 15 minute close bullish back in the range. Okay. Um Yeah. Still gonna have self stops below his range here. So let's see. If you have a self stop, your stop's gonna be 21 pips for no it's me negative RR. Nope, there's no trader. Um Actually no no stop. TP was down here. I'm tripping. TP was gonna be down here. Support. There you go. Okay. Yep. Mmm, buy the so clean on this candle man. Oh brother. Now, what's your core is based around? If you go on controlfx.com, you scroll down. Give me a second. Here, you go to course. You scroll down to this level. It shows you everything that's on it. Just take a quick read, and that's it. There's um, I think six or seven, six plus hours, and get and the course gets updated every month for the same price. There's no extra fee. Um, so, yeah. So so stops on GJ right here. But I'm bearish. Is the daily still bearish? Daily is still bearish. Four hours bullish. But how the four hour close? I'm I'm hold on. This looks similar. No. Yeah. Yeah. Sauce for GJ would be so valid for me. TP I just joined. There's no TP because there's no trader right now. <laughs> Man, what's TP I just joined? There's no trade on my chart. Um, or do you mean like what's take profit? Like what does that mean? Because if that's what you mean, then um, it means take profit. So do you mean what's the TP for the sell or the TP for like? TP, <laughs> like you know, cause I know you know what TP means, so I don't think that's your question. I think your girl question was, um, what's TP? Yeah, target for GJ if it comes down, is gonna be um these levels down here, one thirty thirty three six seven one. If it goes up though, it's gonna be probably one thirty five one three six. If it breaks above this level, so yeah, yeah, this range here, just gotta wait out, you know, how that is. But yeah, let's move Shiver Trace all the way down here. Easily. If it stays below this level. <clears throat> April part two on the way, bro. Yeah, June's been my um my best month. So far, on pace to be my my best month. Cause um I wasn't popping eight point zeros in um March. I was popping fours, and I'm catching the same moves, right? So now it's just Big the profit is just like a lot, a lot, a lot. But yeah, same moves though. And guys, y'all shouldn't be worrying about the prof profits, like count size, or loss size. None of that matters, man. If you can't catch a move, you can't catch a move. Simple. You know, it's like saying, you know, do you need, um, Gatorade to stay, um, be active? No. That's what people think when they play sports. <laughs> think they need that. But if you can't shoot, you can't shoot. That's not gonna <laughs> heal, that's not gonna heal your shot. 
Like, if your shot is broke, your shot is broke. You can't fix that shot. If you shoot nice. like, if you're Sean Marion, you're Sean Marion. You're gonna break all your shots. You know, if you're everybody don't want to practice for it. Apparently, they be giving up. <laughs> Man, like you can't get better at it until you practice. Like the fact that everyone talks about, right? People give up two two years or before two years. Yeah. So. You know why? If you don't, if you don't have a, like a long long run mentality, it's not the it's not the skill. For you. You know why they give up? Because they don't try to fix anything up, man. They try they do the same things over again. Mm -hmm. They repeat the same process over, and they're only they're only hurting the, the sums themselves. They don't try to fix anything, or they're too lazy to fix anything. They think that this is a method and this is gonna work. They tweak it some a little bit, but they, it's, at, at the end of the day, it's still the same thing. Like you know, they're trying to make like a ton of mon money off of a skill that they haven't even put work in. Like, yeah. Oh, Don't get me wrong, everything like works. You gotta tweak it. You gotta tweak it to the best of your ability. That work? You gotta understand. Everyone got their own flow, but remember, man, it's long run. Chain no short run. I mean, yeah, yeah like, you, you can think short term, but that mess you up. Like for me, I got the young Doug flow. You know why? Because the young Doug. <laughs> Yeah, at first, not a lot of people liked him, but now, like, so he's starting to pop now because a lot of rappers, a lot of other rappers, are starting to tune into him too. And a lot of, a lot of other rappers are copying his flows. Um, so like he he did it for a long run. He knew he knew that his flow was gonna work out, so he stuck to his flow. <laughs> so I mean, he does say some like real sketchy stuff sometimes. Like he's golden. I say he's golden. <laughs> Uh, nah, 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 he said some stuff that was like, slick out of pocket, you know, he needs money. Young Thug cannot be touched, man. <clears throat> cannot be touched. Yeah. You can't, like, I don't think any rapper is ever gonna try to, um, especially, except for French Montana, but he got bodied. <laughs> Bruh, and, and, and he's also bro. a bigger rapper, too. French only got, like, <laughs> three... Two, three good songs, man. Other than that, fucking trash. All features, man. All features. Oh, Brown Williams on MT5 chart. Uh, Target. Yeah, we have the same um type of um a chart here on GJ. You literally copy, not copy, but you literally have the same chart as me for GJ Brand. You said Target today. I was I was up here. You said you had a price of a price base above here and gonna go up. Literally the same chart. Support being here. Yeah, we have the same in chart here. Man, last Friday, man. Somebody took buys, and I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Someone took buys on Friday stream. <laughs> French still relevant? He, oh man, he, he is um, he's a fib. He's, like, he's in the gulag. <laughs> Six feet under. Bro. He's in the gulag. He's in the uh, D league right now. Not even Travis can save him, bro. <clears throat> Just playing. Travis can save anyone, bro. Okay, what does gold one do? I didn't analyze gold today. Gold spares are back, I think. Let me check. Like, yeah, it's back. It's back. It's like one or two pips. Uh, in the building. It's so back. It's, it's back. Gold is back, guys. But it came back too late. I don't want to trade you no more. Way too late, man. I, f I, I shifted my focus to the GJ. <laughs> I was kind of mad when GJ when spreads went up. I was kind of pissed. I was like, wow. These moves, man. And then, you know, now I'm just... Maybe it was a good thing. Maybe it was, it was or telling me that I shouldn't trade gold. That was the... 
Oh, it rains too much. Yeah. And when it breaks out, it breaks out too. Like, hard. Yeah, it happened fast. It's basically, it's basically like DJ, basically. Because <laughs> look, it will, like DJ will range for, I swear, it will range for like a week and a half, right? Once that one news comes out, boy, oh boy, people are gonna get their accounts demolished. Casket account. <laughs> Casket account. Hey, um, I see a setup on uh, US 30, bro. Yeah, it broke, it broke the daily, bro. Now, it broke the daily going uh bearish, then it broke the daily. Yeah, you see? Oh well, you already have Yo, if if a thirty minute oh US thirty? Yeah. I think um if you if US thirty breaks this high right here, it's gonna go up. Yeah, bro. I already have it set up. Right here, right? It's gonna go up to this range. Uh, Randy's mean, range. I'm looking for buys on GJ on this thirty minute candle as well. If it closes bullish like this on GJ, I'm entering a buy position here. Yeah, I'm gonna just wait for like a the next like two thirty minute uh, candles, then I might enter my CF setup. So let's see. Wait, Don, can you say why you about to enter a buy again? Um, I'm, I'm I'm gonna anticipate that since the fifty minute close bullish and thirty minutes gonna close bullish as well, I'm just gonna say that this this might be the th the one hour low if you want if we're gonna push up here because now like if you look at it, it's kind of like a fake out coming back in the range and now thirty yeah. minutes, thirty minute candles closing in the range and now this candle should just. You know, eventually come out to tap this resistance and eventually break that resistance, go up. Because if this is a fake out, you know, like I said, 85% chance of filling it and a 75% chance of continuing bullish. If I was looking at uh, DJ earlier, like, like, like maybe like six candles ago, I thought it was about to pick out, come down, like almost. But it had yeah. My support, not my range, please. This is an anticipation and an anticipation. I'm anticipating a breakout. I'm also anticipating a full breakout above this range to go up. Anticipation is that anticipation. It requires. Yeah, I, like that. I like that analogy better with the ranges as far as figuring out what type of trade to take. I like like, like range and range. Yeah. Cause man, if this is a fake out, man, we going up. So I'm going to market exit. Stop's going to be uh, 18 pips. Fuck. Guys. Stops are TP is one thirty five point stops are eighteen pips because the price breaks is low, man. It's gonna go all the way down, and you can have a sell stop below this range as well. So I'm probably gonna have a sell stops as well. TP one thirty five, one thirty five stop loss. Is one thirty four, one seven two. Oh fuck. One thirty four. All right, cool. Who else got in? Nobody else got in. <laughs> oh, no, I I don't lock got in. He he had to get in. Four hours, um, respecting oh, previous low interest rate. We got the buy stop is still valid for sure. Yeah, that, this buy, like, yo, man. If GJ, like, okay, so here's my plan. Here's here's my GJ analysis. If when GJ fills his range up here, comes up to fill his range, it's most likely gonna break this resistance right here, this kind of high right here, and that's like, that's a one hour high. So when price gets to like around this level, I'm, I'm probably gonna move stops to entry, this level, and make it a risk-free trade and close like 50% or 60%. And then when price breaks this level right here. I was gonna have a risk free trade coming up to this level. Because now like if the one hour high breaks the bearish kind of high, man we're gonna push straight up and we're gonna have a clean entry from down here instead of um, having a bigger stop if we were to enter up here. You know, instead of a 45 pip stop, we're only gonna have a 18 pip stop since we entered down here. And we're gonna have a bigger target as well, a bigger range. 
So let's see what GG does there. Did you just enter for a buy? Yeah, I did. My first trade of the day. Third trade of the week. Took, I think, sells yesterday. 10 pips. Took an air sell, break even. And that was it for me. During Asian last night. So, also sell stops for GJ below this range as well. If price decides to drop below it to break this low because I know it's not if it breaks low it's gonna go further down so I'm, I'm putting this out there for whoever did not enter by uh actually I'm just gonna put um yeah if GJ breaks this low we are What the hell? <laughs> what works in the We're going to 133.66. Cool. So, until we break this low, I'm bullish on GG as of right now. But once we do break the low, I'm bearish on GG come down to this level and then eventually these levels. So, yeah. But until then, I'm bullish to go up. Perfect. Messaged me. Well, I He's like, oh, I caught the cells. I'm like, Brad, what the gym? Let, Let me be, bro. Let me live. Let me please exercise. Did you bro. cut the cells too? <laughs> bro, like, literally, I was at the gym. I was freaking lifting. I don't know where I hear. I hear, look, my music was blasted. I don't know where I hear the freaking Instagram notification. I'm like, bro, my fucking ears. I almost I dropped like a rack. I almost dropped on my neck, bro. I'm like, damn, this shit hurt. <laughs> Please, I have a life, bro. I have a life. I'm not a chart monster. I'm not a chart monster. Please. Please live. I'm a chart monster. <laughs> I'm not a chart master. Please. I'm just a young, I'm a young Padawan, bro. Let me live, man. Try to get fucking fit. But yeah. Can it ask me that at 4:30 a.m. or 5:30 a.m. After six, I'm unavailable, bro. Wait, six last night during Asian or during no, 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 London today? Oh. Six, like, today. I'm like, Brad, I'm at the gym, Brad. And he just blew my freaking eardrums out. <laughs> the music is enough to blow my eardrums. But that freaking Instagram notification, I don't know why. It was loud and musical. I'm like, Brad, what is this? <laughs> oh, man. Please. Like the freaking <laughs> the janitor lady, she's like, "Are you are, are you are you okay? good? <laughs> you good? Cause look, she saw like she saw like bruh, she saw me like I almost dropped the bar on myself. Right? She said, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Yo, it was not good. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not fucking good, bro. That shit. My freaking ears. I need, I need to relax, man. You need to relax, sir. Stop looking at charts, sir." <laughs> Let me get my freaking 30 minutes to work out in, and then we can ask all the questions you want about trading. 30 minutes to work out, please. Ooh. TJ made the Quater Wick. If this was bullish, you should be good to go up here. So I just put my magic keys, um. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There's no sponsor here. But I just put my, um. <laughs> my, my, um, partial T. <laughs> My partial TP to um, 134.484 
and my break even, my, my, my auto break even using my special EA 10 percent profit to um, you know, so I don't gotta really move it manually, manual, I mean manually. Right. But, you know, I don't get paid for it, so I can't sponsor it. But yeah, see, so just a <laughs> bullish now. Flame bullish, we're filling the wicks, we're breaking the highs now, guys. You know, DJ. I am gonna. Oh, five pips. Five pips in profit, guys. Mm. Wow. You know, even though I still, I still move, set my auto break even. I still move my stops manually sometimes. <laughs> or before, before my actual um thing. That's lit. It's cool. Your, your special EA. Yeah, cool. my special EA. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Looks good, looks good. <laughs> Extremely special EA. Name's not mentioned here. I'm not gonna fuck up in my entries, but it's alright. <laughs> it could feel his wig, bro. Did you broke the highs? Perfect. One hour is unclosed in 21 minutes. If it closes better like this, we should be good to go. So in 30 minute close bullish, that's, that's a strong confirmation of the 15. And now if the one ever closes bullish, man, we're gonna go all the way up. No exception. So we have 21 minutes left, let's see. Let's see where it does. 0 0.01. Dang. Nothing wrong with 0 0.01, my friend. Nothing wrong. Yeah, start from somewhere. Yep. Everyone popped a 0.01. Like, yeah, no one's judging you. No one's gonna judge you guys, don't worry. Nobody gonna judge you guys. Psych! Oh, just play it, just play it, just play it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. Take slow. What, what's worse is if, 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 um, if you know, if you, um, lie to yourself. Some people, you, you know, like, that's gonna hurt you. Gotta be honest yeah. to yourself, man. You, if you only pop a 1.0, I mean, it was 0 0.01, then that's how you can pop. There's nothing wrong with that. You're still trading. Like, you know? Yeah. Yeah, long, slowly, long slowly progress. Man. Yeah, like, if you popped the 0 0.01 here, you would have caught 5 pips with me. You would have been 5 pips in profit. Same thing as me. I popped the 8.0, but I'm still 5 pips in profit. Same thing. This, it's the same move, you know. Doesn't matter what lot size is, what count size. It's the same move we caught here. No, no, if you if you're anticipating a breakout here, you anticipate a breakout there. Nothing can nothing can change that. Nothing can stop you from that. But what could change is just the count, lot size, and profits. That, that's that's gonna be a difference. But earning that man, if you can't you manage this trade alone, you're not gonna manage it on a bigger account or with a bigger lot size. Worry more about the move. Like yep. Profit, profit or you know lot size. Hey, like, Brad, you're gonna catch that same move on a bigger lot. It's, it's just gonna happen naturally. Don't like force that, force it to happen. No. Wait, on Trader's Domain, when you make it. Freaking uh, deposit using a wire, right? They send you an email after or no? Wait, I'm moving to just stops the entry, guys. Risk free trade. Um, what do you say? What do you say? Yeah, when you make when you make like bank transfers, right? Wire. Yeah. Do they get? Do they send you an email after or they just take it out? Wait, say again. Say again. Sorry, I was typing something. All right. <laughs> All right. When you make a wire transfer, yeah. Deposit, right? Yeah. Do they send you like a confirmation email or do you just like- They always, no. they always send you confirmation. Bruh, they don't, they don't. Look, I tried to do my wire. They just said, yeah, applications being processed. No, no freaking message, no nothing. They just said that. That's the only thing. I'm like, what? So, do I get an email? Do I keep waiting? Do I go back to another broker? I talk to support. I'm like, bro, what's up, bro? Like, y'all can take my money. I'm cool. You, you live chat them? Yeah, I live chat them. They said, oh, yeah. uh, Try again on another day. I tried this morning, right before uh, I left. He said, uh, he still gave me that same message. I'm like, oh. Well, yeah, I could take my money, man. <laughs> I'm giving you a full permission. <coughs> but they still won't take it. I'm like, yo, what's up? Because I don't want to, like, keep, like, 
you know, making the deposit thing, and then like next day they freaking take it out like three, four times. This should be fine. You should be fine. Hey guys, by the way, GJ is seven pips in profit. We're breaking the highs here. You know, I move stops to entries, a risk-free trade, and we have a clean move up to this target up here, a low target right there, and then eventually we're gonna have a clean move up to this level right here in early. And then once that breaks, we're gonna have a clean move up to this level. So yeah, break these low, these low levels first for us to be very clear to go up. I'm gonna give them till tomorrow. They got till tomorrow before I go back to the super OG. Oh damn! You gonna leave right away? Osprey. Osprey. I'm coming back. I'm flying back, baby. <laughs> Why'd you switch in the first place, though? I see. Nothing's wrong with it. Well, no, no, no. It's just this is just one slip of that. Really, really. Like it's always just like I'm doing hella good, right? Then like it, it's always like this weird slip up. I'm like, what? It makes no sense. Like some some shit don't make no sense sometimes. KLT, that was the most bullshit slip up I've ever seen. Freaking Osprey, it was just one slip up that happened like when I was trading money. I'm like, wait, this thing never happened. And then it happened. I'm like, huh? That's not adding up. Hugo slip-ups, man. A whole different level. Oh, yeah, nah, Hugo is trash. Hugo, <laughs> if you're using Hugo's, man, I'm sorry, but... There's only one person that I know that'd be killing Hugo's, and that's Todd. I don't know how. Super sniper. It's gonna stay profitable, that's it, bro. You're a super sniper. No, like, it's not even that. Like, they, they, they literally stop your positions, bro. Like when I had them last year, they literally stopped all my positions. Like it's not even about me being profitable True, or not. They they literally take out your positions. They they close <laughs> the positions with no like not even a margin. You know, last year I had like a I had like a financial account and I had a zero point point zero point zero four zero point zero five. I was I was like down like four or five pips. No, I don't know. I was in profit by like five tenths pips. And you know what happened? They closed the entire position. I have no idea why, but. Same. But anyways guys, I'm gonna move um, I'm gonna close um 50% GG here, securing 10 pips. I'm leaving my runner until TP. Oh shit. Hey, at TP. I'm closing 50% of my positions here. And leaving a runner so TP. Securing. 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 Securing about 13 pips. So see, it's you know, anticipation instead of anticipation, and the move is played out. It's being played right now. So now I got anticipate breaking this high, and they're anticipating coming out to this breakout resistance, and anticipating to tap this resistance. I mean, tap this target up here. Anticipation, anticipation instead of anticipation. <laughs> um, maybe the better, yeah, because. Um, he was a ebook broker. So, I'm white label broker. And using yeah, themselves. I'll trade to the trader's domain soon, but. Yeah, that's what he was does, I'm pretty sure. They, um. Yeah, um. Sure it's a B book broker, so. They, um. Meaning, like. They'll better get, like. If they don't have enough liquidity from the other side, from people buying, they're gonna close out your positions. Right. And thing is, they're not. They're, are you gonna say as well? The market did this, and you did this. But they if you look just at the market, that's it. Yeah, slippage. And they say that they can't do anything about that because the providers um can't cover that up. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's the main issue with some most of these brokers. They're gonna be like yeah. slippage, and when you look back at the trade. Bro, you're gonna see there's like no point in fucking slippage. You know guys, I closed um 65 actually and um secured 13 pips here. So trade one. GP, GP. You have no reason for you not to secure profits here. No reason at all. No yeah. reason. No yeah. reason at all. It's that resistance. Yeah, strong resistance. Oh, either. I caught a good trade. Oh my god.
Oh yeah, this is cake. I call it good ass entry, bro. If you guys took this little call on GJ, leave a like and a share. You took you got Jerry US thirty. Well, oh, you started the same then. Yeah, yeah, but I it's caught the break. I, I mean, I caught the retest. I barely looked on the hourly right now, but I caught it beautifully. Red broker, do you recommend? Oh, I'm gonna update my um little thing right now. I'm gonna recommend this broker. You going up? Watch the time. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's about to fill his wick. I mean, fill his uh gap. Oh God, it is. Um, my broker is this broker, guys. Don't worry, I got you guys. You done You you went through like what? Four brokers? No, um, you actually no. KLT? Yeah, four. Hugo was my first second. My first. I went to KLT. I went to um Vantage. No, actually no, no, no I lied. I went to Vantage first. No, Hugo was first. Then I went to Vantage. Then I went back. I went to KLT for some reason. Oh, to trade US thirty. On KLT. After I went back to Vantage because I stopped training years 30. After now, I'm with um, Trader's Domain. I mean, I went back to Vantage, then yeah, now I'm with Trader's Domain because um, um, the withdrawals have issues with my Canadian bank. And they broke some Australia and I uh, have some. The TV is some, um, TV is just too restricted. But yeah, it's fine. I switched to. Okay, if you guys check my the bio, refresh the page, check the bio. If you guys, um, you guys wanna see that? That's my broker. That's my code. If you guys wanna use that code, <laughs> you know, I need, you know, I think I get like 0. 0.15 cents per one lot trader or some shit. Like it's not even nothing crazy, but. Something, something. I think I get something though. I, mean, I, I don't. Know, maybe I get something later on. I don't know clue, but. 15 cents, man. That's good profits right there, man. <laughs> oh shit, it's breaking it. Well, until wow. it breaks it, it's not breaking it, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, risk free trade, man. Runners should go. Send me a GJ. Profits. If you guys are up at 6 30 to trade with Don Vol, man, I don't know what you're doing in life, man. <laughs> if you gotta work, that's fine. But, man, like, look at this, man. Anticipation is that anticipation. Now we're gonna go up once we break this high. Well, if we break this high, we don't know that yet. Until it breaks the high, I can't say, but. We're about to break it, and there it is. We broke the highs, and now you have a clean move up on GG up to here. This target up here. So the only thing we should worry about now is if price comes back in the range and retests and um, hits our entry. But other than that, we're 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 good to go up to this target right here on GG. We have 10 minutes left on this candle pre NY candle. We should get a push up here on GG easily. So if you're looking for entries now on GG, your stop's gonna be way too big, and you know, you, this is what I was talking about earlier. You know, I rather got in down here where we got in. Then getting up here with bigger stops it doesn't make any sense for me. But yeah. Go emoji. Yes, sir. Four hour just put bullish. Uh oh. Then the other boy. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! You know, I miss the sells or whatever, but look how big the buy is gonna be now. It's a bigger range, you know. I'm fine. Bullish week, bro. You've been calling this consistently. Yup, man. Share the stream. Share the stream. Post on your Instagram. You know, post on YouTube. Facebook. Or not YouTube. Facebook. Utah. Snapchat. Take a screenshot of the stream and say, Wow, I just caught 13 pips with Don Vo for free on YouTube. That's all you gotta put. You That's all you gotta think. No, I don't, I'm not on Snapchat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I delete Snapchat, man. Can you write it down, please? Yeah, my broker is, um,. It's in the bio, it's in the bio. Should be there. I'm, I'm gonna go like my own stream right now. Hold on, control effects. Sheesh. G GJ, guys, you know, is 30, 40 pips in profit. Brother. 
Brother. Drop the guy. Damn, you know, like, look at that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to document the video on, on Friday, too. Every trade I'm calling. Every trade. Document every <laughs> single trade. But what I could tell you on GG, man, is. Hey Sam, this is the Warzone move. Hey, my guy's the What? This is the Warzone move. Dude. Right here. Um so like whenever this happens, pretty change just comes back in range. But this cannon broke up bullish and this, this cannon does have enough range uh, to fill if it cannon does close bullish. So this this cannon might have a chance of pulling back in the range. So I'm pull back. Next so like next cannon. Since I'm already in it, I secured my pips, I'm just gonna let it run. Risk free because I risk here 65% or 75% of my profits. But yeah, if I were to enter a trade after this kind of closes bullish, that's not going to be a trade for me at all. I'm going to try to stay out because this kind of still has a chance of going up. You know, it's a 50 50 on these type of moves, but. Wait, where'd you guys enter this buy? Down here. Bro, I fell asleep in my chair. <laughs> Bruh, you oh. missed the anticipation of an anticipation, fam. It's okay, he'll get the next one. So, like, the 30 minute close bullish in a range. So I was saying, okay, maybe if GJ breaks, if, if um, doesn't break this low, we should be able to go up here to retest this high. And after once we retest the high, we should break the one hour high as well up here, which we did. Now yeah. we're going to come to this easy you target. sleeping earlier, Sam. Yeah, nice, yeah nice. you missing like, <laughs> like even last uh, week, you, you missed like majority of the big trades that like, you, you caught like, you know, like, you're no, awake. I one day. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, last, last week I was... This boy, Sam boy. Bro, I don't sleep to like not miss it, and then like I end up just being we so tired that I miss it. Hey, GLO, if you make 1k off the trade, you better, I better see a post on Instagram. Saying, um, you know, you better be, um, you know, putting people on the stream. Oh? Or else I'm gonna kick you. <laughs> <laughs> Glow, GLO. And guy on YouTube. I've been slacking, yo. I've been trading for others and just lost some money. Well, Milton wow. Lamar? You, um, if you were in a VIP chat, you would have got this call. If you're in a live stream, you would have caught this call. And also, on top of that, you would have got education off this call, not just a signal. 40 pips in profit, guys. This guy, Sam, heard 40 pips in profit, he woke up. He's like, what? What did I miss? <laughs> Good morning. What, week, what day is it? So this week is June 14 to June 20. Cool. June 14 to June 20th. That's my dog, you are. Your dog? Yeah. That was a bulldog? Nah. I have no dogs yet. Oh, that's your sister's. Yeah, she's gonna pass. She's gonna pass the man down. Brother, say she's gonna pass away, like damn. Yeah, she gonna right. pass down the pass down the dad of the puppy once of like the uh, grow up. Hey, it's lit. Me and him gonna have our own Instagram page. We lit, baby. <laughs> Dang, you be buying those guys? You can make yeah. mud bear money off of those I love dogs. That dog. yeah, you, I can love make, that dog, man. you can make a shit ton of money off those dogs. Yep. All I gotta say is, boy, oh boy, we done hit the jackpot with three numbers. That's all I gotta say. I'm not even gonna say numbers. All I gotta say is, Jack fucking. God damn, we hit the jackpot, boy. Got damn, made a got damn. We made a got damn. New. Honda Accord 2020 off on the <laughs> breakfast on man you man you got us oh I got the gang <laughs> what yeah yo if you if you you're up um a 40 piss man with uh you know you over leverage in that trade or not over leverage but you popped the um big lot you uh we didn't pop a big lot but you popped um 2.50s I'll say close 1.50. And leave the rest running because if this hits your entry, you're gonna feel like shit. 
Like, you're gonna feel like, sh I know the feeling, man. You're gonna feel like shit if they hit your entry, man. You're gonna feel like terrible shit because we'll be like, fuck, man, I should secure profit. And then, you know what's gonna happen after? You're gonna be like, god damn, I'm trying to get this back. <laughs> and then you're gonna overtrade that day. Yeah. No, so. Yeah, like, I popped the 8.0. I didn't put it here, but. Close the position here. Um, 4 point. No, I close. I'm tripping. 7 point. I don't know. Why did I drop? 6.0. I'm tripping. Out of 8.0 lava. 10.0 Don is freaking loading, bro. He's very. He's very careful. Uh, I'm thinking maybe. 20? In three months, four yeah. months, five months, I can pop a ten. But like, I'm just not like I'm com I'm very comfortable with the eight point zero. Like, if I'm like five point zero, eight point zero. That's why I pop now. I'm comfortable with that. Like, I don't think I like, I need to go to the ten point zero right away. There's no rush for that. Yeah. But. Just risk. But like the way I'm cons the way that I'm being like my consistency level lately, like I could pop a ten point zero. Like I have, like, it'll still be a three percent risk per trade for me because eight point zero is. Less than three percent for me on my account, but I can pop the ten. But it's just, are you comfortable with popping a ten yet? You know, I'm not comfortable with popping a ten yet. Ten yet. Have you popped a ten yet? No, I haven't popped a ten yet. I've never popped a ten in my life. Have you? <laughs> this man gonna be sweating like Jordan Peele, bro. <laughs> Jordan Peele, bro. Hilarious. Bro, I never. Well, for standard, that shit was the best in the world. yo, when price broke out of the range, show downside, and the next 30 minute close bullish, when you give it, we'll give you the confidence to take buys. Well, like I said, anticipation and anticipation. I said that I was anticipating, okay, maybe if this is a fake out down to go up because price is coming back in the range now, it's like saying price is breaking resistance now. This, we broke support, and now we're coming back in the range, we broke resistance, now we should be able to fill that range. And like I said, the 75% chance to fill in the range, and 85% chance of continuing. So then, you can anticipate, okay, maybe if price fills this range, it's gonna break this it's gonna break this one hour high. And once it breaks that one hour high, it's gonna go up to this range up here. So it's an anticipation, it's not an anticipation. It takes a lot more skill. You know, it's it's not as easy as just a break and retest here. But um yeah, I backtested it a lot and then I say it probably every stream. Yeah, that's probably getting annoyed of me saying it, but <laughs> that goes oh, yeah. to that goes to show. I say I, I do the same thing every day. It's nothing different in my trading. Yeah. Why is the leverage that you're using a one to five hundred? Is this Moody from Flimo Dog? Huh? Who? Yeah. Who is that? Yes, no. Nah. I don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> what kind of goddamn? Goddamn, goddamn. <laughs> who is Moody from Flimo? Nah, I don't know, man. Google, Google search time. Let, let me look at them. I have no idea. I just searched. I got no idea who that is, bro. 500 or 100? 500. 1 to 500 leverage. 100 to 500 leverage. I mean, 1 to 500 leverage. Hey, guys. Um, If GJ breaks this high, I'm moving my stop loss up to this target. Cause it's kind of close with no bottom wick, right? So I'm gonna move my stops to that. So yeah, my stops is now up to there. So I'll secure about um, on this trade. Kind of no bottom wick, so if it can't flip back bearish, it's probably gonna go down further. So I'm probably gonna secure about. Come on, hurry up. Uh, about thirty-five pips, no matter what, on this trade. On a Monday morning. morning. Big chillin'. And we caught like 25th yesterday. Wow. Yep. On GJ. No, 10. We, took, we caught 10. And then we broke even, then we took a loss. Oh, I caught 10 more from, from one of the other signals. Yesterday. Oh, London, London. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Oh. This is yesterday. I mean, I traded London this morning too, but I can, uh, you had a break. The second one you said you had a break even, I had caught like 7 break. I'm not gonna lie, this is uh one of my I'll say Um There's a lot of thought that came to this trade. There's a lot of thought that came to this trade guys. 
a lot of thought and a lot of back testing that got me to this trade. A lot of shit. Like this is a move that not a lot like I would say um not a lot of people can anticipate because it doesn't look as easy, right? Like it would be easier if GG just broke out his range. This would be a candle for a buy, but like down here, just like it's, it's a little different. Yeah. My stop loss for GJ is now here for GJ. Yeah, pushing up here, guys. GJ. This rejection up in here, bro. I don't like this. I gotta, we gotta pass. Jerry thirty. Bro, like it's it's a strong ass rejection area. Strong. strong. I got faked out last night. Oh my. Modi, Modi, Mo, weren't you in the stream earlier? Why didn't you take the trade? <laughs> oh, I think he hopped into another, um... Another live stream. <laughs> 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 I'm dead. You think you need to see rejection at 135? Well, man... We all see. If your idea is to take a sell at 135... <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I, I wouldn't suggest it. Because, you know, like, my TP is here because that's just my target for the buy, but... Looking for subs, that's gonna be a whole different story. Or different entry. One? Bullish. Bullish chance. Two. Is this time we need support? I'm not afraid. Because now, a lot, a lot, what I see a lot of people do is like, they take a sell stop at my TP. Anticipating, okay, maybe that's a, that's a max can reach. There's never a max. I say it all the time. There's never a max. GJ can go all the way up to 145. Like, my target for GJ is 145. Um, on the monthly and on the weekly time frame, like we're gonna reach 145 like soon, next couple of months maybe, maybe this month who knows. But that's my target for DJ. But looking for buy sells right here, it's gonna be a little risky. No, I'm saying to take partials. 135? No, I'm holding my full positions probably. Henrik, I'm probably gonna close my full positions because I'm happy with like you know 77 pips here. I'm happy with that, man. Like, you, can, you can probably push, you can anticipate like some push break this level, but like uh, I'm, I'm happy with this seven pips. This map. I'm actually happy where it is right now. I can close right now if I want to, but my stop is right here. So, but yeah, um, you know, I didn't have faith in you. I thought it was cells. I learned my lesson. Well. You thought it was cells, but you didn't see cells, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Like, at least you know. At least now you know, man. We've been 94 percent accurate last last week on streams. I missed the trade. He didn't believe in me. He didn't want to take it. <laughs> this sounds like Jimbo over here. You guys know what happened to Jimmy? He learned his lesson. Jimmy, where you at? Tell him the story. Is he here? Oh, hold on, real quick. Oh, it's this guy's in the gulag. All right. <laughs> He'll tell you guys a story. I'll let him tell you guys a story. <laughs> he he doubted me. He doubted me. I put it in the replay. Or he didn't doubt me. He just he was just messing around, but oh, it was funny. The replay? Yeah. Huh? Wait. <laughs> yeah, that one. That Wait, one. Did it include oil in the story too, or? Oil? He was doubting on oil too, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Oh, that shit have you rolling, bro. Hello? Yeah, Jimmy, tell the story. Tell the story about. Tell me a story about the day you you um you, 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 you Tell me a story about the day when you um you said um you doubted my um one thirty five or something on GJ. Oh yeah, that I show you guys a video on Instagram. I show you guys. I I got you guys. I just woke up from like two hours of sleep, right? Something like that. What the hell is happening? This man Donnie gonna send me like an early Zoom call, and then like he was breaking down. I'm like, hmm, something, something not, something not adding up. Then this man hopped on stream and said the same shit. I'm like, something still is not adding up here. Bro. It's either like this man tweaking, 
Oh, this shit is gonna just explode. Here, I'll show you guys. Watch this, watch this. This is the, this is the aftermath. This is what happened. 34. He said, nah. He called me Houdini. Look at that. <laughs> I drew the candles out. Yeah, that's funny still. That was, that was hilarious. Like I don't doubt no more calls, bro. <laughs> I think yeah, I think you're just joking. Or were you actually doubting? Or you or 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 or, 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 or you didn't see or you didn't see it going there at all. You're like, nah, no way it's gonna go there. Nah, nah. I was nah, I just had this point. I was like, wait, where the hell is all this volume? That's what was just going through my head. Like, I wasn't doubting or nothing. I was just saying, like, where's, where's all the fine like, like, All I gotta do is call my broker and tell him I need some volume right now. <laughs> so, I was like, I was like, there was no news or anything that was going on that day or whatever, right? Yeah. And I'm like, all right. I just expected to go, like, I don't know, like, a little bit under it, like, 20, 30 pips under it. Hell no, that bitch exploded through that shit. Mink, mink. Mink, mink. <laughs> Freaking uppercut it that got damn CP, bro. Where's my full position? Noise. Look, look left, bro. Look, look left where it just fell. Oh, it's tap. I should tap that bit perfectly. 30 minute resistance? For all the way back there. Yeah. From a uh, whole pot. I'm glad I just remembered. Okay, Don, I got a question. What's up? Um, I know like sometimes when you're looking left at traffic and stuff, I guess it's more, it can be sometimes more than like one big candle like that one right there. So like, mm -hmm. how far left do you look like on a certain time frame? Honestly, this is not a, it's not a X number for me. It's just um, like right now for GJ, I'm probably, I'm probably just looking at this, this candle, to be honest. It depends the scenario. And like, maybe, maybe this, you have clean traffic on these candles. But other than that, it's just like maybe these, these, like right, right there. So I judge it based off of this. Yeah, sometimes well, get, uh, but it depends on like, you know, if, if, if you're looking bullish, like four hour, it, it depends. Like, it depends on the scenario. I can't really give you an example right now, but like for this, I, guess I can tell you the example for this is, it would be these two right there. That's what I'm looking at left for. Above this level, you have a clean move up. Above this wick right here, above these wicks right here, this is a clean move candle right here. But the only thing about this candle on GJ is like we might hit our entry um before we hit our actual or we might hit the stop loss if we have in profit before we actually hit our um target because this candle had no bottom wick. So GJ might come down and make a bottom wick or something before it goes up bullish. Moody Mo from Flemo. No sir. <laughs> hey, if you guys enjoyed the stream, leave a like on the stream. Let's get to 30 likes. I'm lying, no, let's, let's get to 50 likes. I want everyone on the stream to leave a like on the stream. 50 likes. Oh yeah, bro, let me tell you about this bullshit that happened earlier this morning, man. This is really like grind of my gears type thing. Like, so I'm chilling in the parking lot at the gym, right? Cause like, they don't open till six. And I was just waiting there at like five, like 20 or whatever. Mm -hmm. but this freaking officer pulls up right next to me. Pulls in hard as hell. Bruh, this man tapped my window. He was like, I was like, what's up? What's going on? Then he was like, um, the windows are too low. I'm like, what you mean, like, too low? Like, the tent, or what you mean? Then he was like, the tent. I'm like, wait. You know, too low? I was like, I was like, it's no possible way. I was like, the windows are 32%. The law of Georgia says 32% is the lowest. So, I was like, so what's the issue? He's like, oh, they kind of, they're a little bit darker. If I had my uh, tent meter thing on me, then uh, I could, could, I could prove me wrong. I'm like, no, 32%. Like literally on the sticker tag behind me, 32%. Look it up on Google, 32%. They're like, this really kept going back and forth for me. I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just trying to chill until the gym opens and calm hard. I'm like, yo, what's up with you, bro? It's like 5.30 in the morning. What the hell are you drinking? Oh, today? 
Yeah, like monster energy drinks. Like chill, bro. Then this man's face got red as hell. Once like I told him like, what's the legal number? He's like, you know what? He tapped my he tapped my roof. He's like, okay, I'll let you go. <laughs> the wrong. I'm like, okay, 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 I got you. I was like, then like, yeah, if you didn't know like in the states is you know your license like general or whatever, you gotta tell them like you have a strap in the car. But look, that's when he like reached for something. Like, oh, hell no! Nah. I was like, no, no, no! I was like, hey, hey, no, hey! I was like, hey, hey, hey! It's in my glove department locked up. I was like, yo, it's in my glove glove department locked up. He was like, he took his hand off. I'm like, yeah. yo, my heart, yo, you do not know how fast my heart was beating. I'm like, yo, chill. It's too early, bro. Like literally, five thirty in the morning, bro. Too early, man. Oh man. And my freaking phones and like. See, I'm like, I was trying to record this before he walked in, but nah, man, said, freaking, freaking jolly walk his shit to my window, bruh. I, I think we're still going up. Prosperous solutions. Um, once you know your laws. Oh, hold on, that's the last question. Prosperous solutions. You think we're still going up? Yeah. So, GG still has a hat chance of going up. It's just that we hear our stop or our in profit. Stop blast, third five pistol secured. So I moved my stops there just because this counter is gonna flip bearish now. And it had no bottom wick. So I don't know how far this counter's gonna drive. For all I know, the way this counter looks, I would not want to enter on this candle for a buy. Like, if I were to enter this buy here, I would have secured profits by now. But like, this counter has a high chance of pulling back just based off my back testing that I did in the past on this type of setup here on GJ. But, but yeah, like, um, it still has a chance going up, it's just I'd rather be safe and move stops to my that candle. Because I don't know how far it's gonna drive down, then you know um betting that it's gonna go up to here with vote and confirmation down here on this candle. So that's why I did that. So I'm out of this trade guys, 35 pips secured on GJ. But this is still a target today. It's just no trade right now. If we were to enter a buy right now, it'd be a whole different trade. It's a whole different trade. You can't enter off the same analysis and same um trade. By those type of candles, like, it's just hard to me, man. Like, the ones that be closing, like, weak bearish or weak bullish, like, close to like a T or like a, you know, gravestone, whatever they call it. Yeah, you know, don't just like, hard to me. Cause sometimes, like, <clears throat> like, say, like, I learn, like, when it does a little gravestone thing, it is like straight up drop. But it was like, hell, a situation where it did gravestone, mm -hmm. go all the way back up. I'm like, what? That's not what I learned. And the same situation with the T. Like, I don't know. That's one of the candles I'm just gonna work on. Man. Cause I've been following through those a lot. Like, Fifteen is a close bullish. I think you can take a look at entry here on GJ. Soft loss will have to be down here though. But I'm done for. I'm. I'm not gonna look for buys. This looks low. Um, I'm gonna need another type of support be made here on GJ. So like, I'm probably gonna need something like this on GJ to go up bullish. So if we get, let's get some type of support here like this. And we'll get a bunch of consolidation here like this, like this, like this. Have a range here like this, and then you can break, break out break for a range. You can wait for a breakout of range to come up like this bullish, or you can anticipate a breaker you now if you have a bullish kind of closure in a range like this, come up. I'll be in there up team for a buy. What about for sales? For sales, um, when GJ comes back in a range like this, um, if this counter drives back in the range, you're probably gonna fill the range. And what this is, is this a double fake out, and which means you should not be trading for a day. Because now you have a fake out up, and you also have to fake it to the bottom side. Last time this happened though, I think it was last Wednesday, this exact move happened, I have a picture of it. I took a picture of it. A screenshot, let me, let me pull it up actually. Double fakey. What happened after was GG came down bearish. So this is why I back test. So if this were to come back in a range, probably gonna come down. It's gonna be a fake up to go down, which is gonna lead coming down to this level down here. Is there another is there another free play you can give us down? <laughs> like I free play? Let me look for the candle, hold on, I got you guys. Uh where is it? Oh no, I don't have it. Never mind. I don't have the little fake. I have the other one. I have the the war zone move. I call it the gulag move. Actually, <laughs> I have that move screenshot, but not this move. 
But if you guys look at it, um, why is my thing so choppy? Everyone's dropping pockets in the bit. Let's go. Popping standards, half standards. Everybody lit. My bad, guys. And put his chart here. Whoa. Dang, that iPad MC4 looks nice as heck, man. So clean. Yeah, I have an iPad too, but I don't use my MC4. My iPad. Does MC5 look like that too? Or it looks a little bit better? Same thing, I think. Looks fine. So well, guys, do the math if you guys want. 35 pips, 8.0, close half, 4.0, I mean 3.0. That's my position for the day. Pretty happy at that. Pretty, pretty happy. Pretty, actually very happy actually, because yesterday I took um two, two buys, two sells, one break, one 10 pips, one break even, and today, you know, I caught, I caught, I, I, Saw the sells coming down last this kind of right here. I could have caught it, but I didn't want to catch it. I didn't want to overtrade, so I said no. Um, and today, you know, this buy came up. I said no as well, and now this little move, I caught it. So I'm chilling, chilling. Yeah, patient plays off, man. Nice, everybody profiting. Like it. Some guys said there, there are only three goats Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, and Donvo. <laughs> we doing more, Don? Man, I cannot do more, man. You, you forgot the four for this, man. Who? Kobe Bryant and Uncle Ted, bro. You tripping. <laughs> nah, somebody said Prosper Solutions. I mean, not, not tripping. Some guy messaged me. He's like, there's only three goats. Three goats. Michael Jordan. Shit kind of trashy, trashy right now. Sure, 30? Nah, shit trash. It's kind of range right now. Stop robbing us, Todd, please. Oh, I didn't get robbed. <laughs> you robbing them, bro. Oh. They said, please stop oh. robbing me, bro. We had enough. I cannot yeah, I, was up, I was up $400, but Jeez. I don't know why I didn't take profit. Right, let's see. What I only, took, I only, only, only took $30 profit. Yeah, I, had, I was up $450. What? Fucking sucks, but it right is what here, it is. That is. How much for personal one on one mentorship? 11th round two. I'll bring the backwards. Well, number one, I don't do personal one on ones. Number two, I don't smoke. Number three, number three, if you on the stream and got the course, you don't need them. He even, even before one on one, even for a one on one, you can just copy the course right here. This, this will be your one on one. <laughs> Ask Robert here. This will be your one on one. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm a living example. I mean, I'm a living example. You are a walking testimony. There's two there's walking testimonies. This not a day I don't go without asking Don questions just like Saturday. There's, there's two walking testimonies here. Robert, which is for the course, and the another walking testimony is Locke for the signals. He answered every single signal I give. I do too. Yeah, I got, dedicated. I got, uh, and Robert, yeah. Uh, Yo, I got a dedicated account just for Don's signal, bro. <laughs> That's so fun. What are you on about? Dude, stream is best one on one. Good profitable. Hey, Mr. Donald. Yep. Hope you um profitable to the D. Oh, 
two, level three, what level one or two. This is the level three right here. The guy that won it would be cool if he made an update in the course and then what is doing for him. You could um ask him if you want. <laughs> Sharif. You can ask Sharif. I don't think he's finished the course yet though. Yeah, you haven't finished the course. He's still working on it. Somebody said it would be cool if you can give an update on the course once you finish it. I'm still working on it. Yeah, he's not done with it. Man, I mean, we can't. you're not going to hear him, bro. His Lambo engine going to be too loud. <laughs> I think what the most important thing my course teaches is how to be a logical trader. That's the I think that's the life changing thing to be honest. I, I, not life changing, but that's a a forex changing um thing. Just learning how to um read candles and being logical with your TP levels, not being greedy, knowing when to take profit. You know, all like I'm making a playbook. Literally, I'm hand handwritten playbook of all my trades that I take. I probably have like four or five plays that I take all the time. I'm gonna have a life change, uh, a little book, PDF book for that. Not PDF, I'm gonna have a manual, uh, dig, uh physical book. Physical book. It's gonna be on Amazon. It's gonna be on Amazon, guys. $5.99. Vols, Forex playbook. Alright, so I'm looking like all the way, all the way left on the four hour. Right, this is the same rate it was in on April. Yeah, it's straight up drop, so it should be. I think if I do charge a one on one dome, I'll charge a red package price. I don't know. 7k. He charges, he charges 7k for a one on one. For what? For what? Like, he charges He charges 7,000. Yeah, you guys know, you guys know what he teaches? This is what he yeah. teaches. Support resistance, Fibonacci, core state. I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like right here. Life. Like, really, Larry, Larry, this is what it looks like. This is what one one looks like for them. Seven K for this. Um, not that's not the fib. Where's the fib? Uh, uh. See, guys, I can use a fib. Where's that? Right here. No, okay, so you know, got them price bounced off the um, the fifty percent, and now it's gonna go down and sell down to this level down here. <laughs> live breakdown right there. See, Bro. live breakdown of a seven K mentorship right there. Bro. That's I what they. That's what these these. So I got those for the low low, so I ain't stressing it. Yeah, that's but that's yo, what. One, I knew I got finesse once the psychology part. I don't care if I'm fucking spoiling like the course. Once the psychology was talking about goddamn horse stones, that's how I knew I was. I was gonna get fucking finesse. I knew something was up, bro. I'm like, wait a minute. Ain't got nothing to do with forex. I'm like, what the hell does this shit got to do with trading? What he teach? What the hell? The first part, his psychology section. I don't look. I don't give a fuck if I'm putting someone else in this oh, But bruh, this man talked about goddamn horoscopes in the freaking psychology. <laughs> now how the hell is <laughs> me and me being a Capricorn? Bro, you know, you know where I can go for that, bro. I go to Gunna. Why not? <laughs> if you're a Capricorn, I mean, you gotta trade uh, US thirty. You know, that's what he said. <laughs> Do you wait for candle to close when they reach your zone, or do you always place buy sell sell stops? I entered this trade, I entered the trade off a uh, market execution. Those don't buy sell or sell stops here, and I wait for the candle to close. But it depends on the situation. Different trade for different ideals, different entries. Yeah, man, that's how I knew I got the but it's alright. Bro, 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 first look, man, oh man, forex busted. I shouldn't have waited for them to get. For them to bust them, bro. Yo, if they bust right, I'm sorry, bro. I love them, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see what you think. <laughs> One thirty-four yeah. seven hundred. All right, let's see. What do we see on Tuesday? What is trend? Down the support. Very good. 134, 770, entry. 7k for 101. You notice it looks like if this out, if this 30 minute, if this one hourly kind of closes, if 30 minute kind of closes bearish here, man, we're gonna go all the way back in the range. And now we're gonna have that double fake out that I talked about earlier. 
You can go back and watch that replay if you guys want. I talked about like 10 minutes ago. This is a double fake up. We're gonna come down the range here and we're gonna continue down further. A double fake up. Double fake up means don't trade that day. Okay, it's gonna be a range. It's gonna be a rangey boring day, and that was the no, move. Bro, can you stop saying that a lot? And please, can you change the zoom name back to normal, man? Can you stop stealing my drip for one second, man? <laughs> Yeah, change your Zoom name, bro. I'm getting confused. Right, um, bro, hold up. Right, if this man gets a picture of my profile, I'm, <laughs> I'm out, bro. Right, I'm never joining Zoom. So this is a this is super exclusive picture, man. Super exclusive. Yo, <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> bro, that's the first picture I've taken that way, bro. Keep Locke's new name. That's okay. I ain't gonna lie. I call IML out like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brat. Yo, those guys are sharks. Super shark. Those guys be saying, oh, you want to make money in your sleep? <laughs> bro, what type of... I'm sorry, bro, but they selling jeans, man. Come on, dog. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop help. <laughs> bro, they be, they be telling you things like, oh, don't you want to wake up to big blues? Bro, 10 pips in pocket. <laughs> I'll be waking up to big reds if I am <laughs> Big reds. What do we see on TV? Are you my friend? Why? Yo, call Forks Rob in here, bro. Bro. That's my boy. He's a goat. <laughs> Funny ass dude, bro. <laughs> Told him I got fired at Starbucks. <laughs> this man. <laughs> this man. It's like a laugh that shit off. <laughs> If you're ever in J, hit me up. What? Where's uh, Jamaica? I was about to uh, 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 joke, bro. We for we for you. Oh, man, uh, brother. Look left. Hit that. Hit that. Is this in the area? Okay. And like I said, this move here, I think it's a, it's a, it's a gulag move. A gulag move? I think that's what it is, man. A gulag. I'm, I'm going to make up a name for myself. Uh, that's the move. Oh, it's, you finna, a lot of guys would enter like, bias here on this candle. This candle right here to go up. And you would have secured profits, but this candle has a high chance of driving down like this, guys. I'm being dead serious. Like, it has a 50 50 chance. No um, cap in my game. Like, the next candle is probably gonna you know, continue down like this. Or the one hour candle actually is gonna continue down like this. I wouldn't be surprised. And then once it goes back in the range like that, you can take a sell down at this level. But yeah, this move I try to avoid at all costs. I need to take buys on this candle to go up. It'll be a different scenario though. But yeah, like this candle you just flip back in the range like this. It doesn't have enough support being made here yet. Go up bullish to the right. We'll see. Let's see what happens for Juju here. We have like 30 minutes left. How do you feel about your USD? You can send me a labeled, full labeled analysis chart and I'll look at it. I'm too focused on GJ right now. I can't look at too many things at once. <laughs> and gold and US30, but like, earn that, man, that's all I'm looking at. Really nice. Please. Oh no, it's not 13 pips, 30, 35 pips. There you go, I'm tripping. Call myself short here. 35 pips on GJ. Well, gotta work on my highlight video. Oh man. It's gonna be lit, huh? Do you? Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. You know, same thing every day, just another day in the markets. Some song? Another day in the markets. Nah, I'm gonna work out the freaking Call of Duty Snipe montage edit. Oh, I'm about to play some <laughs> Warzone today. Yeah, I'm gonna get some, bre I'm gonna get some breakfast after. Actually, I'm gonna get a donut right now. I'll be back in two seconds, guys. Two seconds. Oh, don't leave. Don't yeah. don't leave the YouTube chat side. Don't worry. Moderator Jimmy's in the. Yeah, moderate this. Disrespects gets disrespected. Why did you just lie, bro? Can't <laughs> <Ferreira. laughs>
Nice, nice comment. Welcome to the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> Rona is gone. Hell no, nah, Rona not gone. That shit coming back with a deluxe album, bro. You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. That shit been a mink mink. Part two. You die, bro. This is a deluxe album, bro. This is in the kitchen cooking, bro. Ah, oh, this is that good, bro. Coronavirus S plus pro. <laughs> Coronavirus XS Max Plus with the wide zoom. Yo, that's a part two, bro. Nah, bro. This is the back to back, bro. Back to back. It's like bro, that's when Drake it was dissing Meek Mill. This shit finna hurt. Honest to God, back to back. <laughs> this shit finna hurt feelings, bro. Yo. It's gonna, it's gonna repeat too, bro. Bro, that shit finna. No, it's not even finna repeat. It's finna do hella numbers. Bruh, it did like the oh, Texas 100k. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this says a test, but I'm dead. <laughs> Bruh, like, man. These numbers I've been seeing, I'm like, all right, we're not ready for what's gonna happen. Great job. Oh, yo, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. Bro, invest into a bunker. Nah, bro. I'm gonna invest into. Uh, <laughs> That's a bunker. Nah, man. It's too late for a bunker, bro. I'm just, Not too late, bro. I'm gonna just buy me a helicopter, bro. Fuck the bunker. I was thinking, like, like making enough money to make a spaceship. Oh, <laughs> hell nah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm scared of space. It's cool, though. I'm scared. Bro, you, I don't know, man. I'm gonna get my. Bro, imagine you're, you're on the moon, right? And you just see the fucking Earth get hit by a meteor. <laughs> oh. Or you see you get swallowed by like a, a black hole or Oh my god, yo. I don't know, I'll be thinking like some weird shit sometimes. Like, to just imagine though, that shit would be crazy. Yeah. Disappear, bro. Get out of here. Back. They come in, I think they come in this week. No free promo. Oh, well, I mean, special EA. I can lie. <laughs> but, uh, they said this week, so. Until I get my own 5% discount code, no free promo. This week or next week? That's what they said. I think, I think I put it on at least like 20 guys. I, I put it on for people. I'm always trying to find a damn trading keyboard. That one's a good one, bro. Keyboard. Here, you do. You got the special well, I don't, but it's like still like cool to have. I mean, your keyboard is basically like one, man. That's your whore. I'll probably, I'll probably not even want to use it no more after I get that'd the be, That'd be a whore. This? I need this, bro. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Bro, imagine you was a little, shit. imagine like someone like rearranging the keys, or, like someone put like five to self with those divides. Oh, brother. Oh, my you can do it on your own keyboard. All the way up. Oh, my God. I mean, I mean, on MP5, you can put like. Uh, hotkeys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Makes like the same thing. Mm -hmm. Wait, did I just get finesse? I couldn't do that shit the whole time. I don't even know where that's the It's fine. <laughs> I mean, special EA? I'm glad. Wait, wait, wait. Why does your uh, stream color look like... Like, orangey? Like, what? yellow? Uh, hold on, I'm gonna I'm I'm send it to you in the live stream. Cause it looks like more yellow than a Zoom call for some reason. You got a filter or something, bro? I'm not sending it to you, bro. I guess I'm buying a for today. Okay. Alright. Oh, shit. I'm back. Future players. Hey, bro. This shit don't break. Yo, boy, am I just colorblind, bro? Lower high, lower low. Broke, went up to a higher high, higher low. Consolidated. I just have to wait for the break, bro. Zero thirty. Zero thirty. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the break, bro, because it's like heavy, it's like some heavy ass uh, resistance. 
It should go up. It don't wanna. It should, but I don't see. It keeps stopping and going back down. It should go up on this candle. You know why? Because Don Vogue just said go up. Can't come in the quarter week and now it's flipping bullish. You're on the wrong one, bro. 30? Right Same chart analysis. Yeah, shit, you're gonna buy stuff above the 30 minute high here. Um, so it can easily come up to these levels, I think. Clear as rain. That's your buy stop, no? I, I don't have a buy stop here. I'm just marking execute. Right here, right here. Bop. I'm, just yeah, I'm just waiting, bro. Can't wait till next year, bro. Call me James Harden layup, because I'm going to be traveling. <laughs> <laughs> Him like this. Wait, cause it, cause it bounced off the daily, bro. I should have ended off the daily, but I didn't know if it was gonna go down or up. Cause, bro, this range that when GJ gets into here, bro, it is like it's gonna rain for a little minute and then break out hella strong. What should be breaking back up, bullish, bro? <laughs> bullish. Cause look, it's that big, big wick that's... A lot of people, a lot of people would enter here for buys though, off this retest there. I can't get him filled this week, sometime this week. Yeah, like my target for GJ, the monthly, is 145. 144. 300. But, it's probably gonna be like in the next couple weeks, or something. Not this week, I don't think so. 136. That's my target for GJ this week. If the daily closes bullish like this, um, I'm par yeah, my target's probably gonna be around 136, 500 as well. That target, but I gotta see how the daily kind of closes because it can still close bearish here because this one hour could push down here. Yeah, you know, like if it closes bullish, then 136, and if it closes bearish, looking at 132, 64. If this 15 closes bullish, but I just still a lie. Um, the one hour still gonna close bearish. I don't know. It's up. It's whatever you see it. Whatever you see. I'm um, Moody Mo. But for me personally, um, this hour is gonna close bearish. I wait for the hourly kind of close. See how it closes bullish or bearish to look for positions. But I can tell you that a lot of people would answer buys here because there would have been a retest right here and it would have entered off this retest. But I um, don't. Thing is, I don't know how far it's gonna drive down. Let's see how it closes. We have 20 minutes left. That's a lot of time. It's also a New York open candle. Or no, New York did open already. We, we caught the New York open candle. Yeah, I don't know what count's gonna do here. Let's see. Let's see. I'm tired, man. You're tired. <laughs> My man, Taz does not sleep. Bro, I don't fucking sleep. Been up since London too. Yeah. I can't wait to sleep. I don't know I have to how. Go to, I gotta go to hand therapy in two hours. Dang. What they finna do, bro? I just scratch my damn pinky. <laughs> <laughs> they finna be like, alright, bro. I'm showing you magic trick. Count to three. They finna pop that shit back in place. <laughs> no, they ain't, no, they ain't doing that shit. They just been in it. They gonna beat you with one, two. They finna. That's all they gonna do is just bend this bitch. Heat it up. Bro, bend it. my city. They broke into the freaking Nike store. Got arrested. <laughs> I'm dead. This oh, they been doing some crazy. It's been crazy shit all over. Well, especially Atlanta. Bro. Atlanta about to be crazy. Bro, Bro. dude uh, getting killed. Yo, look, look, look. I, it's like, look, look, look. hear me out, hear me. Out. I have a 50 50 perspective on on that situation. Look, look, one side of me is like, yeah, it's fucked up because he died, whatever, right? That's like the real fucked up part. Like he didn't deserve to die. But then again, he did shoot a taser at the officer. So you gotta think if you was the officer. Just imagine that taser could have killed him. So he a taser can kill you. A taser can kill you if like it's on you for too long. It could kill you. <laughs> it's he's like it's like hella strong. So I, the officer like when I shot like 
he slick did have a point you know of saving his fellow officer but then again it's fucked up he didn't like have to shoot him that much times like one shot that couldn't have been enough like one shot to lay you straight but three three shots three four shots but you know, we're not talking about we're not talking about that here. We're talking about that damn trading. The Maripods Pro ain't no damn joke about that. So yeah, I got them on the first day. <laughs> they're pretty you they're cool, they're cool. I like them. Most cancellation, bro. Whole different world. <laughs> yeah, G just should continue to come down back in the range if we can't close bearish here. Just one hour. Oh, you mean, this, this is a gulag move, man. It's a 50 50 chance, but like, I'm not gonna say 50. I say 60 40 right, of it, like, it. never playing out for the buys if I ever take one here. Like, I always take buys here on this candle. Um, yeah, and I always gotta stop though. I'm gonna stop, be down here, and come back in the range. It looks clean, because it broke out of range and has nowhere to go, bullish, but, like, this type of setup, I never enter anymore for buys. That's why, um, yeah, if this candle is back in the range, it's probably gonna fill the range. Panther, so I fall back in the range. You could, it's up to you. But me, I'm. It's it's not. It's gonna be beyond me. Um, do whatever you want of it. But yeah. Cause the only reason we stayed in this trade was we move our stops here because. This can close way it did, right? And this, this is the thing I was worried about. I, I knew that this can it's, it's uh, if it closes built bearish, it's gonna, it's gonna come back in the range. So that's why I moved my stops up to there. And we got stopped out with 35 pips in profit. Because this is the exact move that I replicated. Are you guys gonna see it if it, if it does um close bearish in the range? If it doesn't close bearish in the range, it still has a chance of going up. If it closes, like, let's say, doji or bullish, this can can probably drive up still. Bullish on the next candle, but until it doesn't, until it breaks in the range, um, yeah, we're still bullish technically. And GJ, I'm still bullish for this week. Why does he keep delaying my little? There you go. Oh, alright, so Trey's domain just named Instagram for a sorry, I'm gonna just show them. How much are those right now? They're like 250 Canadian. Or 300 Canadian, I forgot. 250, I forgot how much they were. Alright, I'm good. I'm gonna just chill till, I guess, Tuesday? Tuesday? Oh yeah, you, you can't even trade today, I forgot. Nope. Or tomorrow. Uh, they said uh, they're fixing some issues right now. So I'm like, but yeah, so, yeah. They said it's either I'm finna trade like next week or <laughs> on Wednesday, Thursday. They said it's gonna take like a few business days. Hey Jimmy, look at this, bro. What up? What up? I'm finna do a check. Damn, uh, gaming the car sucks, but it is what it nah, is. Nah, the one that you sent yesterday, that one on 750, bro, I asked them for 700. That was pretty good for that. Uh, okay. Yo, you, you can get a cheaper one. If, you, if, you, if you're just web surfing and not like editing or anything, you can just get like one for like 500. Nah, you I'm build your own. Start playing this, uh, this old computer game that I used to play. It's called Rumble Fighter. That's just nice. Rumble Fighter? Rumble Fighter on PC, bro. That shit used to be so hard, bro. <laughs> bro. Uh, only PC games. Just look it up. Y'all might like it. To be oh, honest. Um, look at that shit Gold, up on YouTube. Western like Snipes, Gold Dropping. Oh, brother. Gold Dropping. Yeah, I think I'm. Um, I think. What did I say? Uh. Oh, I didn't say. I didn't say anything. Yeah. Um, I said right here. If 1707.52 breaks. We're gonna go down here. So 1700. 1700 for gold. Yeah. Remember. That's what we've been good on this at 1709.56. That was right there. So come down here. I oil. We have risk free trade right now. Yeah. <laughs> Buy oil at 10 o'clock. That's 
sounds like Jimmy here. <laughs> this guy said bye today. Oh, I'm looking at it, Tosh. That looks like this game I used to play. That shit's so, so hard, bro. I put, <laughs> bro, I have so much money on that game, it's crazy. Dang. I spent a lot of money on that game. Me, me. Bro, I'm, I'm watching like gameplay. This man is piecing his ass up. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That oh, crazy. that's what it's called, Maple Story. I think if GG breaks below this this counter right here, that's a high chance of pushing further down to this level. And you move stop entry there and come down. But you know, be safer. I'll wait for one hour to close. Alright. I'll be cleaner. Ooh, crying outside. <sighs> yeah. If you guys enjoyed today's stream, leave a like in the chat. You know, caught 35 pips on GJ, trick one. GJ sells. Pretty, pretty, pretty clean. Would you work for one of those training firms, Don? Or no? Never. Yeah. I wouldn't even do for FTMO. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know, like. Is my train does my train style even f suit them though? Like that's the question. Like not really. They want a whole bunch of pits. Like, they cool. they want what were their requirements? You know, like what do you want? Goldman Sachs, this girl. Cool. One of my homies, she told like I was listening. But she was saying I'm like, bruh, that's stressful as hell. All right, just train for myself. Do they expect you to make a certain amount a day? And bruh, we don't, we don't trade that way. Yeah, we don't trade that way. Cause look, she said she was like one of the analyzers and whatnot. She said that shit was the most stressful thing ever. And she only like 20 something. Quit at it. Goldman Sachs. Institutional looking at her. Solution. I think I could teach a class. Who's crying outside? Like, what? To me. Somebody just, like, a baby is just crying outside, man. Like, Your house? Yeah, just screaming and crying. Like, I just blew my like, count. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna close my window so bad, man. Who is that? Wait, is GLO, is that an ant? It? No, it's not. It's someone else. I thought it was an ant. Oops. I don't think so. Looks like that. I don't think so. That's like Montel or something. I forgot his name. Ah, uh, Montel. I think it's me. I think. But yeah. Back to the game. Let's see. What do I do? I missed off, guys. So I'll mark up for a week. Just chill until my goddamn deposit hit. Alright. Lottery season. You know, I think I'm gonna do a quick little lesson here because um, Friday's lesson. I didn't really do a lesson on Friday, so what do you guys want to talk about? Let's, let's ask some questions in the chat. John, Christian, anything, everything. No dumb questions though. How you, how you gonna say that? What do you guys want me? Yeah, there's no dumb questions. What do you guys want me to answer? Ask, ask anything. Risk management. Nah, I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. It's, I talk about it every day on the streams. So I don't need to do that. Um, what about like, you know how you say you got like certain uh, setup that you always take that you lose. Oh no no no, that's exclusive. I can't I can't do that. That's, that that doesn't take up too much time. <laughs> I don't know then. Let's see. Uh, how how was your first NFL? Yo, what is that? What emoji is that, Jimmy? Is that an app? Is that an iPhone? No, it's on the like, custom emoji. Oh. What the hell? Now put on some hand sanitizer. But yeah, answer the question, bro. How's your, how's your first Tell me how food? to make these charts my... Yeah, um, so for that, man... Um... You saw stay into the streams? <laughs> how, do you de how do you determine a zone is still important or even valid? Well, man, if you're going to try off, I'm joking, I'll answer that question. Because <laughs> literally, like, it says out here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Um... Uh, how to spot 
sweat ranges will get filled, range won't get filled, hotspot with bad ranges. This is right here on the course. But you know, I'll do I'll answer here. Um so I don't determine if someone's one point is valid. Yeah, so it's valid if it's respecting it. So like every day I make a new chart on my charts. I never have the same charts every day. Because if I still had a chart, it would probably look it would look like there'll be a bunch of lines that wouldn't make sense, right? I have a line over here when there's no resistance here or support here at all, right? So I don't know, every day it's a new chart market for me. Um, right now I can see that this support is valid because this is the previous support and this is the next resistance that it has to go if the price does go up based off of this counter right here. So this is valid for me, this is nice valid support and nice valid resistance. Um, the next support, if this one breaks, is down here at this level right here. That's valid because you have some support right here, the physical left, right here, right here, right here, um, right here, right here. These levels importantly and these levels, this, that counter right there. That'll be a nice valid support and for the next support it's gonna be down here at these levels and next one's gonna be down here at this level it's just the most recent previous one like i'm not looking too far back in the charts i'm looking at like maybe last two days but now i'm not looking back through like you know last like three months or something because that's just um there's no need for that at all if i'm catching a quick temp it move Cause like when I asked the question earlier about like how we look back, like sometimes I'll like be looking at a chart or like whatever time frame and I'll just like see it going up or down and like don't see any traffic. I'll like look all the way until I see something. But not. Wait, once this candle flips. Well, it depends on what time frame you're looking at or how, what's your range you're trying to catch. Okay. It'll be based like off of that. I'll go, uh, what'd you say? It'll be based off of that, like your range and your time frame. Like, like usually I'm, I'm usually like looking at the one hour and I'm looking for my ranges. And if I like, I don't like, like I'll look left. If I don't see anything like on the hour chart where I look left and I get rolling like days and days back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes there's no traffic for a while and you gotta keep scrolling yeah. back. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes too. I'll look at that, yeah, if there's no traffic. But in this case, right now, there's a whole lot of stuff here, so I can look for something here. Yeah, I ask because people keep saying look left, but they don't see how far left. Yeah, it's just, a lot of it is just your own judgment. Um, based off mm -hmm. what you feel is a valid support resist what, what whatever you feel that's um, what I say, whatever you feel is logical. If it looks logical, it's logical probably. He's got to trust your analysis. What account size did you start with? Hmm. Hundred dollars. <laughs> These questions, I'm not gonna get you nowhere, man. I'm telling you, but if I answer it. Um. Okay. It was like 300, some 200. I blew it. Blew on the first uh, me, day. 500 blew that shit first day because I thought 1.0 meant a dollar lot. One, I thought 1.0 meant a dollar. <laughs> Man, that bit went from super blue, red, get out the trade. I'm like, huh? What's happening? <laughs> My mental, man, my first, man. They didn't even tell me about none of that. They just said, going to. The Iron Academy. Then like use a harmonic scanner on a week for the I bullish bat know. pattern. Bars, bruh, you know Q like, Banks. Let me tell oh, you how bad this on is. there, my no free promotion. Yeah, I mean uh, Q Banks taught um harmonic scanners in his course. Oh, fuck. harmonic patterns. Yeah, yeah, he's like, this is a bullish bat pattern. I wait for this pattern to come up. Blah blah. Bro, how do you even like? I <laughs> like yeah, Yo. I understand you can eyeball it off of like experience, but who got time for that? Break retest. Watch this price action boom. It's straight. Like, I don't know, man. What's over leveraging? I don't get it. Um, well, it, it's um when um it's a good thing you don't get it. Um, so let's say you have a I don't know hundred dollar account. If you're popping more than a uh, you know zero point zero one, you're probably over leveraging. If you're risking like a certain amount of your capital, you're over leveraging. Like you're putting too much risk on a line on that account. Like if you have a if you have a thousand dollar account, you shouldn't really be popping more than a point ten lot. On um, on um, a currency pair. Technically, right, but it depends on your stops. For every point, every thousand dollar account, I'll say is to be safe. Point tens for every thousand dollar account. If you're popping point ten and you have lower than a thousand, I mean over point ten, then you're probably just over leveraging. So limit trades, yes. Yeah. I do a point ten in my account. Too. My account right now is what But you trade jurors, so that's 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 not your occurrence, that's different. That's like a one point lot, bro. 
<laughs> Can you make an example of a 100 yard count? So 100 yard count, no, depends on your risk. If you're risking 3% per trade, then like, um, for let's say your stop loss is 10 pips, you can only risk 3% per trade, right? So you have to you have to have a maximum $3 loss for that one trade. So you have a 10, 10 pip stop loss, you can only put a 0.03 for 10 pips because if it's 0 0.03 hits your stop loss for 10 pips that's gonna be three dollars so that's that's three dollar risk right there but if your stop loss is 30 pips your loss has to be now a 0 0.01 because if that stop loss gets hit it's gonna be a three dollar loss as well so that's a three percent risk yeah it depends on your stops i'm doing point thirties on point fifty count laughing ass off yeah you could do it if you want like it's not really i don't know it just depends on the skill level man you do whatever you're comfortable with comfortable with what you're risking yeah i've learned i've learned i've learned i wouldn't have got you know it you just like like i pop i pop eight points now but i don't pop them like a, a you know a ten thousand account or five thousand account it's way higher than that yeah. like it can't be that low this is basically like Whatever you're comfortable with, you're comfortable with. Like, it's just like, just think of it as this. What if the trade goes against you, you know? That's the only thing that you gotta think when you. Every time you enter a trade, the first thing you gotta think of is what your stop loss is. Yes, you're in streams. Every time I take a trade in streams, I always look at my stop loss first. I've never once said I looked at my TP first. If, if you guys go back to the last trade, I measured my stop loss first before I measured my TP first. Yeah. The stop loss has to make Any sense before you take the actual position. Any bad habits you had starting out, risking too much. Not um. Yeah. I. This. These are bad habits I had. Um. Over trade. Um. 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 What else is there? Um. Large stop loss. No. Not. No. I never had. Closing trades early. No, that, that that's that's just um something that I've that's not a bad habit. That's just from learning experience. This kid is still crying. Why, bro? Tell him to shut up. You're, you're yeah, like I think not taking profit and being like I wish I should take profit. That's just that's just because your your analysis is, is not um solid enough for you to uh, like break down your trades to that point where you know where to take profit, where you know you know where to move your stops or like. So that's certain amount that's certain point right but um yeah that's more of a just like a experience thing i wouldn't say that's a bad habit that's just naturally comes trading you gonna go check on that baby that baby is hollow do you hear it do you hear it yeah you can't tripping, bro. yeah it's so loud i don't know why like it's been like 30 minutes man it's her, like where's the mom <laughs> Holy shit! Her mom's on. Their their mom's on fan only fans right now. Man. Time to go back. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one of the hardest things to wrap around your head in regards of drawing up charts? Um, I'll say just a lot of back testing. Um, it just you learn everything with um trial and error. Like, you know, like this cell that I'm looking at right now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for cells by the way, but the way I'm seeing this kind of coming down, as long as it respects this high up here, this is from back testing. This is because I, I, I took a, a loss on this trade one time. I took a buy. So when this happened right here, I took a buy here one time. It looked like, like this. I took a buy and you know what happened later? This candle actually came down. The next candle came down bearish like this back in the range. And then it continued to come down and hit my stop down here. So from that loss that I took, I now use that loss for my analysis for next time. So last week, for example, I think it was like Monday or Tuesday, I mentioned the exact gulag move that I call it now. I instead of looking for buys from this kind of form bullish on a four hour, I saw a sell. I, I, I looked for sells after because the smart timer showed me sells and this was for me on the four hour as well. So from that loss that I learned that I took that day, I learned from it and now I made money off of it. And now this cell is probably gonna play out as well if GG does respect this high. But yeah, like this got a back test, man. I'm telling you, this got a back test. Like back test and you know, just review all your trades. Take notes on all of your trades. Yeah, I'm gonna close my window, man. This kid is just crying, man. It's so annoying.
All right, there we go. How do you backtest on, on MC4 and their application? I backtest just by trading. But when I backtest, I don't look at just like the moves, you know? Like I don't look at just GG like, okay, um, it's gonna go up here. And if you're, you know, it's gonna go up to this target today. Like that's not backtesting. That's just you can out target. And that's the easy part. That's easy. That's not backtesting. Backtesting when you look at your previous trades, all your trades, like during the day, Take your trades, do whatever, and then at the end of the day, look at all your trades, look at each and every one, and look at the detail with it. Like, see what you could have done better. Even if it was a profit, even if you made like a thousand pips of that trade, look, look at, see, see what you could have done better. And if you took a loss, let's see what you could have done to, um, to, um, see what you could have done to avoid that loss, you know. That's backtesting. But backtesting is not when you just look right in a certain direction and look for a buyer, so. Like, this is not backtesting. Going this, pressing this replay mode, going back to this and saying, okay, um, Gigi's gonna buy once he gets, like, Gigi's gonna sell down at this level. Like, that's not backtesting. That's just, that's lazy backtesting. That's the backtesting that these mentors tell you to backtest with. <laughs> Don't look Double top. Double bottom. <laughs> How do you backtest on it? Um, who the fuck disliked? I don't know who just like maybe um you know someone, know. someone took a look for selves. I don't know. <laughs> like this thing by auto what? I have no idea, bro. Like this thing by auto three huh? Team by auto. Sir? Oh audio? audio? That's what you mean? Huh? What's a reasonable what's amount of trades to take? Two trades a day. Take the stress away. Yeah, maximum two, two. Um, I take around two, three. Um, but I used to take a lot more. Um, it just depends on your comfort level. Honestly, like, you don't have to take two trades per day. That's just what I stick with. Just because I can easily look back at my trades that day and easily look at what I did wrong in those two trades. Would you rather take 50 trades and look over them? No, you're not going to do that. If you, take, if you take 40 trades per day, you're not going to look over all your trades. You're going to look at like maybe one or two. You need to be stressed about that one or two. But like, yeah, like if, if you can't look back at your trades, you're probably over leveraging. I mean, over trading. All right, keep that in mind. If you can't look back at your trades, you're over trading. If you can't sit through a day and look back at all your trades, you're over trading. And, and you're trading for the wrong reasons. You're not trading too like, like, You're trading just for, you're trading, you're trading just for the money. A month or two ago. So like, because he knew like, I was, we had like this one on one and like he asked me what trades I used to take. I used, I used to take like six to eight trades a day. He said, why? And then like, like once he told me like the psychology behind taking like two or three, I'm like, damn, that's your pretty good. That's pretty good. And then like, I don't, I don't never want to take more than two or three. Ever. It's basically yeah. like your broker eating off you making more trades. That's that's how that's how you got to think of trading now. Less trades you make, the less your broker eats off of you. Uh oh. Yeah, that's that's how I think. I told, I told Don that. I was like, bro, I don't like paying my broker. Yeah. I'd rather just get into. You, you tell me that, and Don tell me that. So stop blow period scandal. Um, no. Um, actually, yeah, you could. You can have a. You can sell like on this channel, but it's just um, I'm not. I'm it's kind of not closing the range like I said, so there's no reason to trade for me right now. But I mean, yeah, Celtic could be valid for you. Um, it's kind of hard to say because I'm not in a trade myself, so like I, I can't really tell you that I'm taking a sell or anything. But um, uh, miss back, yeah. Sleep schedule, um, that would depend on you. Like, whatever fits you. Like, let's say you can only sleep during, you can only trade during New York. And just wake up for New York, man. If you can only, like, if that's your time zone, then that, if that's the best time for you, then choose that time. You have to trade, you don't have to trade all sessions during a day, man. You, you, you can just trade one session, like me. Like, I sometimes trade Asian, but not all the time, you know? New here, let's go, GJ. Wait, Wait, Anthony Bennett, are you that soft play? Bro, he's his fake name, bro. It's definitely oh. not Anthony Bennett. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm like, wait, wait that name really does not. Yeah, he's come. He, he's he's number one draft pick that that was um that got washed up. Oh. Imagine I said to him, and I just said that. That was oh. tough. <laughs> he finished. He finished. <laughs>
two dislikes in this bitch. <laughs> Ying, he's just a bust. He's our first pick. I live in Japan, lol. Well, yeah. then trade an Asian session. If that's that's the best session for you. That's yours, man. Are you my friend? New here, let's go, JJ. Yeah, my day is probably done here, guys. I, I caught nice 35 pips on JJ. Prosperous solution. You are one cool guy, bro. No cap. I took one trade here, you guys, JJ, and that was it. My day is done. On a Monday? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. So now, now when I go back on the charts later, I'm not gonna care about what happens after this. When when I end up my day in like the next, you know, soon, I'm not gonna care about what happens next on the sh uh, what happens next on GJ. I don't give up. I don't care what happens next. It can go up 100 pips and go down 500 pips. Who knows where it goes? I don't care what happens next because my day is done and I took my trade for a day. I took one trade today and my day is done. Yeah, I only took one All right. Chairs are gonna hit me up. We said, hey, bro, the pot's gonna hit by tomorrow. I'm like, hey, we live, baby. We live. I'm gonna take away my phone, bro. You're gonna stop training. Bro, I'm not training. I'm buying a car part. <laughs> Stop it. Your car already too fast, man. That bitch gonna freaking fly off the road. You trying to get shit fly? <laughs> it's a I'm fire not even gonna lie. I was like, Camaro, um, bro, I probably, I'm not even gonna lie. I spent 8,000 in three days. What? <laughs> what the? What the? Wait, that shit better fly off the road. All right, so. Like when I catch you in Arizona, bro. No, I spent 8,000. That's not even like, that's just like random shit I be doing. Oh my god. Shit, your bitch is gonna be fast as hell. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm gonna head off here, guys. Um, The far is open on GJ. Close, open, close bullish, previous candle. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not interested in any trades right now. I'm probably done for a day. So, Take a screenshot. I'm gonna hop off here, guys. Oh no, target. Oh, yeah. This target is done. Um, my target for GJ is gonna be down here at this support. <laughs> if if he breaks this low, if he continues to go on bearish, we should be able to come down here. But let me take a screenshot of this. If we stay bullish, we can probably tap this target up here at 135, 136. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna head off here, guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow's stream. I'll, I'll give you guys an update later on Instagram about what's look what's coming for this week. Other than that, guys, um. See you guys later and peace. Alright. Alright. Later y'all, later. later.